and Santa hat tonight, but you, but you get the win, and that's the, the biggest thing here this evening. We gave these away about, uh, I think, maybe my first or second year, and I've been looking for another one. <laughs> so a uh, so, fan gave this to me, so I think I can wear it, and then I'll have to give it back to him. So. <laughs> <laughs> enjoy it while you can. I'm going to enjoy it. 62-39 win tonight. It's a, it's a game, I know, listening to you on the bench here, it's, it's, it's a lot of points you win by, but I know you aren't always happy. But it, it, at the end of the day, it is a win. These are kids. They got Christmas break coming up. They know the situation on the floor. They kicked it in a little bit more probably in the second half when they were able to expand the lead. Yeah, and, you know, we played a lot of people and was trying to get minutes. Obviously, with Bria out, it, it really upsets our rotation a little bit. But I was pleased that I thought um, Asia kind of really went to work. Mm -hmm. I thought – Brianna uh, Wright went to work a little bit, even though I see she only had six points. But I was thinking she had more buckets than that. We fed her pretty well. Ariel Hearn did a really nice job of, of cutting around her. And tonight was a night where we got to play a lot of people. Um, I'm not sure I really liked our defensive intensity again. We've got to continue to get better at that. And I challenged some of the kids tonight because uh, we're going to have to we're going to have to find a really um, tough streak in us as we um, get into as we get into conference play. So they were picking on a couple of our players a little bit, and um, that's never a good sign if somebody's no. picking on you. Well, and, and they're not a team that's shy to throw the ball up. 59 shots, 15 three-point attempts. They they only shot about 25% overall, 3 of 15 from the arc. But, it, you know, what we talked about in the pregame, there's always that Memphis kid that comes back. Khadijah Stevens comes up with a double-double out of Tresvent High School. Yeah. <laughs> she was active. Yeah, and we talked about that beforehand that uh, we didn't want to we didn't want to let one kid get loose. So, um, yeah, it's going to happen. They they come here and it, and it's it's you know it's a big game for them yeah. as it should be. So certainly we didn't handle them like we would have wanted to, but you could really tell on the defensive end of the floor that we were missing Bria Wilder Cochran. So um, she just does so many things for us in terms of handling pressure and and really being a defensive presence that we can count on every night. So uh, we take a little Christmas break. Uh, we come back and we go back to work. Don't want to forget to mention uh, Alicia Celestine gets her, her debut tonight. Goes to work. Uh, the kids work hard in, in here. And, and just to get a few valuable minutes for them is big for someone like Alicia. And she came away with a couple of points, three rebounds. Got that nice little double block down there. <laughs> blocked the shot. The kid got it back and, and stuffed it again. Well, you saw exactly why we recruited her. I mean, that, that kind of size on the defensive end of the floor. Um, if that had been one of our other post players, that gets to the rim. So, obviously, she's got a lot of work to do in terms of fundamentals and playing in a stance and fitness level. But, um, you know, six, three kids many times in college have to, have to be developed. So, she will um, continue to work, and, and we hope that over time her, her touch um, improves and that her footwork improves. But we know that she can block shots, so that's, a, that's an important factor. We can't you can't develop. You can't practice six, three. I mean, so she got four years of that body. And she could really uh, – we, we've seen some players, even on your tender, come in as walk-ons or recruited players that didn't at first. You're thinking, I don't know about this. But went to work and really developed as, as, as good ball players. I think one that we would talk about specifically would be Savannah Ellis. Yeah. and Really never developed much of an offensive game, but from a defensive standpoint and a rebounding standpoint, she was really solid. Coach, all right, Christmas break. You're coming back to 28th to play Temple, so you don't have a lot of time. I know you're going to get them back Christmas Eve just to check in, and you go to work Christmas Day. We do. We're going to make sure we're back in town at 7 p.m. on Christmas Eve. They're going to have their Christmas a couple days early or at least very early on Christmas Eve morning. We will have um, a nice little holiday gift exchange Christmas morning, watch a little bit of the parade, have some breakfast, then we're going to go to work, then we're going to have Christmas dinner, then we're going to go to work <laughs> again. So it's going to be a long day, but we're going to try to enjoy it in the tradition that we should and celebrate it for the right reasons. But uh, the fact of the matter is we're a basketball team and we've got to practice on that day. And once you get back, you don't have much time. You've got to hit it hard. I'm sure you, you've got to plan out to hit it hard Christmas Day and the day after, then maybe a light day, the 27th, the day before that ball game. We will actually um, go really hard our first practice. That's yeah. our defensive practice, getting our defensive legs back, getting our fitness back. And then the second practice on Christmas Day will be a shorter practice and it will be what I call a reps day. Um, making sure we go through all of our sets, our inbounds plays, out of bounds plays, um, some of the coverages on our on our zone defense, and then the next day really becomes a a zone prep day, which is our standard two day prep for any team that that we play against. So, just getting our feet under us on Christmas Day, and then we go into our standard two day prep quickly. And this will be the final thing we talk about. You start American Conference play, 
Yeah, I was kind of looking at stuff during the game in the league this year, and a lot of people might think, well, with Louisville gone and Rutgers gone, it just it just falls off at UConn and everyone else. But you right now you've got three top 40 teams in this league. You've got UConn, of course, sitting right around one, two, or three, depending on which service you look at. But you also have USF and Tulane who are in the top 40. So right now you've got a three-bid league. So you've gone from a two-bid league to a three-bid league this year. It's still going to be a very uh, tough road to get through that conference. And, and, and we could throw East Carolina in there yeah. because I think um, over the course of time, I think they're going to get some good wins. They've had a couple bad losses um, to date on the road, but I think they're even going to be in the top 60 or 70 at this moment and have a chance to move up if they get some good wins in our league. It's, it's the teams that we talked about. It's going to be USF Tulane has had a uh, very, very good November and December. Um, ironically, they just beat Sanford last night by two yeah. at Tulane. So um, they gave them a little bit of trouble, but they came away with a win. And, yeah, w w these teams are good. These teams are very good. Tulane, five starters that have been starters since freshman, and I think they've got a, a freshman or sophomore that's contributing a lot. East Carolina returns five starters from a 22-win team. So we, but we also have an opportunity yeah. to gain some RPI points. We're, we're sitting just outside the top 100 right now from an RPI perspective, but we're going to have a chance to – um, pick up some RPI points from some of those conference teams like a Tulane, like an East Carolina, and like a USF. Coach, we appreciate it. We will talk to you on the 28th. I want to say Merry Christmas to everyone and uh, Happy Holidays to those who, who believe a little bit differently. But uh, it's a great holiday season. Happy Hanukkah to everybody um, in the Memphis area. Bye.